Well, September is Life Insurance Awareness Month, so it might be a good time to think about getting some coverage to help protect you and your family. Joining us now is Dan Scroggins, who is with AAA. So, Dan, let's start with just the basics of what are the benefits of life insurance? You know, life insurance is one of the hardest things to talk about, right? Because you're buying something that you're never going to see, right. right? It's to benefit your family. And, you know, there are over 100 million Americans either don't have it or don't have enough of it mm. uh, to take care of their families in the event of their untimely passing. So uh, every month is Life Insurance Awareness Month for us, but, uh, yeah. but the industry takes September uh, to really shine a light on the need uh, for people to think about taking care of their families. Right. So life insurance, at what point in your life should you be getting life insurance and who, who needs it? I would say everybody needs it and there isn't a bad time to buy it. Uh, okay. The younger you are when you purchase it, uh, the, the less expensive it's going to be for you, uh, assuming you're in good health. Um, but really there isn't a bad time to buy it. I'd say most people think about it at inflection points, mm. right? So they get married or sure. they, uh, they have a child or adopt a child or maybe they lose a parent. Yeah. Right. These are uh, periods of time when you think a little a little more strongly about what am I leaving behind? What legacy am I leaving behind? Right. And uh, purchasing life insurance policy is uh, is a good way to do that. I know there's not just one plan. You know, there's typically right different kinds of plans. What are your recommendations for someone when you're trying to choose which one is right for you and how much it is and all those different layers? You know, the first thing we do is look at what they're trying to accomplish with the program. Uh, you can buy term insurance, uh, which is kind of like renting life insurance. You buy it for a set period of time, whether it be 10 years or 20 years or 30 years. Now, you can also buy permanent insurance, which will last and, you know, as long as you pay the premiums, it will last for your entire life. So there, you really take a look at the need and the coverage amount need and the budget uh, right. and identify what the best profile is uh, for that particular kind of customer. For someone watching who is thinking life insurance, you know, what does that cover? What can that go toward? Is this for, you know, funeral costs or what kind of things would this cover when someone does unfortunately pass away? You know, the best thing about life insurance is that uh, the beneficiary can use it for anything, wow. right? So they can use it to pay uh, expenses. Sure. Uh, they can use it, use it to pay the funeral expenses. They can use it to pay off a mortgage. You can send your kid to college. Right. Uh, some people use it to offset uh, offset estate costs. Right. So you buy a life insurance policy to make sure that your kids have an inheritance uh, when when you know when that moment eventually happens and it's going to happen eventually. Right. I think yeah. that's the that's the hard part is getting people to understand that it, it's OK to talk about it. Right. Because it's going to happen to all of us eventually and being prepared uh, really can help your family uh, process the financial piece you know, while they're trying to get over the grief piece. A lot of good information there, Dan. Thanks as always for joining us this morning. You can always go to AAA's website to get some more information to kind of help you navigate this. In the meantime, though, we're gonna take a break. We'll be right back.